When I grew up, the world will seem to be a much smaller place. There were far fewer choices for us to make. My mother was quite a strict person. My father died when I was quite young, when I was six, and she had to work a lot. So it was very hard for her, and I think that had an effect on her. Uh, there was no video games, hardly any electronic equipment in the house at all. Um, entertainment was pretty much what you made yourself. Television was only on for a few hours a day, and children's television only ran for an hour or so in the, in the afternoon. But a lot of the time, I'd be out playing with friends if the weather was good, because there was no way of communicating with us. So if, for example, say your meal time was set for half past five, you had to be home for that time. I don't think we are as strict these days as they used to be. I have two of my own children, a boy aged 24 and a girl aged 22. When they were growing up, I think life was different for them. We had a firm few rules, certainly that my wife enforced. They weren't allowed out as much as we were. Um, I used to be out a lot during the day, but my children had to be home a lot more. Expectations with, say, homework. Um, certainly my wife was far stricter than my mother ever was in making sure homework was done. But they have so much homework now when they're young. My children weren't allowed televisions in their rooms until they were old enough to buy their own. We had one television downstairs and uh, for a while my wife made us all, including me, uh, write out lists of what we wanted to watch during the week. So you wrote down your list and that's what you watched. If it wasn't on the list, you didn't have it on. I don't think children have it easy these days. I think the pressures on them are different to my generation and my mother's generation. Um, I think this generation have a lot more choice than our generation did when I was growing up. Children are faced with many choices and many pressures that I didn't face when I was growing up. I think there is a problem that comes with choices because it's easy to make the wrong choices. When you only have one choice to make, it's very hard to get it wrong. When I was growing up at, uh, at school, um, I think the biggest thing I noticed was that um, I didn't know anyone else who was um, half uh, mixed race. I'm half Thai and my dad's from Thailand. There wasn't a Thai community in uh, Cheltenham. And uh, so um, I quite liked being a bit different. It helped me sort of find my way, become an individual. My mum's very strong and independent and uh, she came from a very busy city and my dad is um, quite, he's, he's very zen, he's very calm and he has some traditional ideas um, about um, bringing up girls and things and uh, um, he grew up in a rural area of Thailand. Well, when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to um, go to the cinema if um, any boys were going. I wanted to get um, a part-time job, like a, a paper round or something, but I wasn't allowed. I think, uh, I think that the way my brothers were brought up was different. And I don't know if it was because they're boys or whether I'm because I'm the eldest. Um, so they let them go out a bit more. Um, sooner and uh, not, uh, they, they didn't worry about them as much, I think. And, you know, Ben had a paper round <laughs> um, a couple of years ago. Um, and so, yeah, I think they were much more lenient with them, which, which really used to frustrate me as well. But I've kind of come around to understanding why it was that way. I think nowadays children are growing up a lot more 
uh, aware of um, other cultures. There are more children now who have um, perhaps a similar upbringing, maybe, just because I think now that there are more mixed race children. When I was growing up, there were separate communities. Um, and so people are much becoming much more intercultural and sort of understanding a bit more um, of other, other communities and other cultures and things. My name's Marinda, Marinda Wilson, and I'm British. I come from the UK. I'm in my early 50s. I've got two children. They're called Amy and May. My name's Amy. I'm 21 years old, and I'm at university at Music College studying opera. I think I'm a strict parent. Um, I think rules are very important. Um, I, I thought that my children were quite adventurous and a little bit on the wild side and therefore rules are very important. We had especially our mealtime rules were quite, um, were quite interesting because they got so badly behaved at mealtimes that um, I really um, decided that we had to have rules and I wrote, I wrote them on a piece of paper and put them on the wall by the table so that when we sat down to have our meals they could see the rules written on the wall and that was quite important. Um, we had to sit at the table, we had to eat nicely and um, I had to have good table manners. I think the other rule, really important rule, is bedtime. Because what I've noticed is that um, as soon as they don't have enough sleep, they behave badly. So bedtime is very important and making sure that they do get to bed on time and obviously get up on time. Uh, those were just two places where I imposed strict rules and they seemed to then create um, a certain amount of structure in the day. I'm not necessarily in control, but I know everything that they do. So I know when they go out, I know where they're going, I know what time they're coming back, I know what their homework is, I know when they've got particular things to do. And I know, um, for example, whose turn it is to clear the table. So it's just sort of making sure that they know, that I know, <laughs> what they should be doing and I think that really makes a, a lot of difference and that's how I interpret um, being strict. I think my mum was quite a strict parent. She was certainly strict about food, um, no sort of crisps and junk food and I totally appreciate that now. She had a lot of rules about manners at the dinner table um, eating, using your knife and fork properly. And we had to say, please may I get down now when we'd finished um, dinner. I remember her getting us to help with a lot of household chores and gardening and not being one of those mums who just does everything for us. I remember rules about bedtime were to go when she said to go. <laughs> um, we had to do reading before bed either we would read to mum or sometimes she would read to us, depending on how sleepy we were. So she was strict, but I think in all the right ways, and she made us respect her. When I was younger, I used to disagree with her sometimes, mainly to do with social events and sort of hanging out with friends or what I was going to do after school, because mum would try and encourage me to not overdo things so that I wouldn't get tired and also to do schoolwork and do practice for my hobbies, for example, singing practice or piano practice. And there were times when I didn't agree with what she'd said and I rebelled. She let us make our own decisions but would always say what she thought about them. So, for example, she'd say, well, you can go to the disco if you want to, but I think you might be tired the next day or you might not enjoy it as much as you think, but if you want to, 
you can do what you want. So at times I did go against what she said and sometimes those things were okay and sometimes they didn't go as well as I wanted and now I realise that mum is normally 99.9% .9 she's right.